All right, Eddie, day two, man. What's your uh, the plan for today? I'm going out in the fall and roll out southeast to Delta House. Okay. There's a big float in about 5,000 foot of water that I've been through quite a while. Nice. So I'm to one day. All right. Do you have any re reports from yesterday? Is it all? Awesome? No? Uh -huh. Okay. Cool. Well, looking forward to it, man. Put us on some fish. Day two of fishing starting now. We just pulled up to the Delta House rig. Got a couple lines out, hopefully pick up a wahoo or a tuna, and then we're trolling around the rig just to look and see where we're barking the most life, and that's where we'll set up. Pro shot, Gulf of Mexico. I'm throwing a Iowa Satiga 7000. Just trying to make sure I get it out. Not as far as I want it to go, for sure. Definitely get a good pop on this popper though. How big? Your endless passion 8536. Throwing a Halco. So I got a fish. Shallow. They're shallow too. So I decided to go a little shallow. Let's see what we got, man. Light them up. You wanna come back here? You walk that way if you want. There we go. Half of a half of the elephant. That would have been a good bait. Since the fish aren't blowing up on top, I'm gonna drop that halco down, count down to about 30, and then reel it in. Nice and slow. So this has got a Stella 20,000. It's got that thread lock, 50 pound. So I probably got about 600 yards. So just reel that halco in, kind of stop and start. Medium pace. Let's see if we can pick something up. Picked up one. Tiny black fin on a jig and uh, couldn't get it to the boat before it got eaten, but that's okay. That means they're out here. Maybe there's bigger fish to eat them. Jock grabbed the pole, hooked this up. You might have to take that drag just a wee bit. So that's a Valley Hill rod with the Osa jigger running threadlock 50, but it's been spliced every 50 feet basically. Or 50 yard, yeah, 50 feet. Double hookup over here. Murphy's got one too. Unless he's got. Well, let's see. They're both underneath the boat. You might be hooked up to him. We'll see. Just let let yours go. Just free line yours and let it go. There you go. He's right here. He's right up shallow. You're on a different fish. Alright, little black fin in the boat. 
Bait. Yep, bait, basically. <clears throat> Murphy's still yeah. fighting his. Those colors switch every 50 feet. So four colors would be 200. Okay. This guy right here. What you got? Bring him over. A little black. A little black. Bait fish. Just bring him over here. Yeah, that's good. All right. Next black fin. All right, so this is the way yacht fishes. I'm doing it. It works every time. I told you it's a little loose on the drag, so. And that pole and reel should be able to take a lot of pressure. You got two? You got another one more? He's coming up right here. You're, you're probably fine. He's already up high. He's right here. A little bit better. Still bait, but bigger bait. That's my bluefin rod. So it's that's Threadlock 50. It's got 600 yards on it, but it's 80 pound breaking capacity. Oh yeah. So that's why. I like this reel a lot. Yeah, those are sweet reels, especially for jigging. Yeah, it's got a, it. It retrieves line really fast. Yeah. So it's good for jigging. It's just a pure jigging reel. So that's what it's for. Yeah. And. Uh, Basically with the line Slowly start to show up. Grab on the yellow fin on the chunk line. I'm gonna squeeze it by in We took the fresh caught black fin, we skinned it, then you just take the meat itself and try and bury your circle hook inside the meat so that the tuna won't see the hook now once you do that you just basically throw it out and uh free spool it and let it slide out mm -hmm. can you get by me or all right So the key thing is trying to really bury that hook in so the tuna won't see the hook. Yep. Oh, Alright, we just went off. I'm, I'm yeah, you're on his line. You're on his line. I'm getting. I know I'm going to. I don't know. Yeah, he's in line too. Okay, the same type. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we got a little bit of chaos going on. Charles hooked up, hooked everybody up. But oh, we're fighting here. Zero. Murphy, you haven't caught one, right? Charles, pass it to Murphy. Uh, yeah. I'll get, I'll get the next one. Dude, just get it. You I'll don't know if there's going to be a next one. <laughs> it's good to know there's going to be a next one, but oh, fucking jealous. No guarantees. Oh, 
need to show commentary for the camera, Neil. Get him. Oh, it's blown up over there. Yeah. Oh, that's hard. Hold on. Okay, you got it. Throw a popper. Go get a, go get a popper. How? Go, go, go. Right off the right off the back. Where the birds are. Sheesh. And I'm stuck on camera duty. Yeah, that's it's your fish. You don't need to take it. You're fine, it. Keep it going. Nah, they're not. Yeah, someone take the camera. Oh, belt. Belt. Oh, belt. Yeah, belt. What's this line? That is jellyfish. Stinging, stinging. Here, you got one. There you go. Teamwork. Oh, bring her up. Good catch, good catch. Keep reeling, keep reeling. Reel, reel. There you go. You don't want to come up. What'd you get him on? Popper. Popper. What? Oh, that was a good job. You want a gas? I can hold this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, go. There's another one up there. I put it up by the front. Go grab yeah, the helico. Uh, What's that? Yeah, it's on the Oh, it was on? Chunk? Oh, okay. I thought he was casting into the top. So, you got it in yet? What do you think of the uh, situation with the uh, ship stuck sideways in the Suez Canal? Would you like to comment on the situation, sir? <laughs> Who gives a shit? Oh, okay. All right. It's, a... it's tough, isn't it? Is this really what you drove all the way down here for? <laughs> so, we're hooked up with a double, right? He was wore out. Meanwhile, back at the next uh, next one here. All right, come over here. See how the pros doing it? Yeah, that's it. I don't know where he's at. Take a few steps to the right. See a color up yet? Oh. I see paint. You got a bite out of them. There we go. One in. Oop, oop, oop. There you go. Oh, I lost the tail. Well, yeah, where he hooked it was where he got bit, so it's on oh. your big old rib. Oh, all right. All right. There we go. Neil. I don't know if that's a good side or not. That's a beautiful side. It's the fish side. There you go. All right, you're bleeding them. Good. Ah! Got it? <laughs> All right, right on. All right. Stream close up to see the determination on his face. Behind the mask, which in 2020 is seems like an acceptable thing, right? I'm just trying to. Scare Haven't seen people's face for a long time. I don't want to see her to be scared by my ugly face. Ugh. 
Get in there. Get in there. Crank, Murph. Crank, crank, crank. Going around. Please. Shark. No, you're the fish. You want kisses? Yeah. Oh, you. Murph's got one. You want something on that? You want a rod to push it, Murph? Yeah. Well, cool. Murph's got one, guys. What's that? I'm going to do a lot with a rod. Today. Or do you want a belt? I can get the belt. Okay. All right, now we're digging it. Nice! Murph's got one. All right, Neil, you know how to run this? Hold on, let me... Oh, okay. All right, gotcha. Yep, yep. Deep water fire. Here's the crime scene. You may have seen this in Dexter, the third season. Oh, that is a, oh, and it's the tax man. There you go, Murph. You just cut him? Yeah. So that's a silky? Oh, he might be going for your fish. He shouldn't have. All right, back out of there, Moose. You're on the next one, so. Yeah, Murph, switch yeah. in here. Switch in. Oh. Oh. There we go. What, uh, do you keep this running? Yeah, just run it. Okay. Just keep filming. We've got plenty of space. Woo! Good one. This is a good one. Thanks for bringing us out here. Oh, you're welcome. Anyway, what happened to the other one? Was it a shark or did yeah. a shark eat it? Big old shark. It was a shark. It was a shark, yeah. Uh, still is, actually. Still is a shark? <laughs> what do you figure the shark weighs? Yeah, he's about 75 pounds. 75? Okay. Murph's goal color. in life is to get one. Oh, we got color. There it is. Goals to get a fish heavier than him. <laughs> Just stopped feeding him three years ago, hoping he wouldn't grow anymore, but it didn't work. Somehow he went way past six feet. Oop. Coming in. Mono. Yeah. Color? Nope. Thing bigger than the other, didn't it? It was running on full drag for a bit. Yeah, I didn't see any. Yeah, he's got a Running towards it. No, how you feel if you take the bow out tomorrow? He's right, your bait's over here. Yeah. How you feel, how you feel the bow? You got a real tight. Nice bow, sir. There you go. Another one. 
Shoot up. Maybe. No luck on your work, alright. Line. That's what I felt. Break. All right, somebody to switch out with them. You're already in the mono. You're almost there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're on the mono. Oh already. no, he's close. You gonna power through? All right. Ooh. You don't want to come up. Are we getting yeah. color? No, no, not yet. I don't have a lot of mono on it. Yeah, no. We won't start seeing color until you see leaders come in. Too. Yeah. Force her up. Motor. Yeah. I see it down there. Don't know if you can see him on camera. Ooh. There's leader. Ooh, big shakes. Yellow fan, get him out of the motor. Fight him. Hey! And a clean gas job. Good stuff. That's a good size one. I see color. Uh, Woo, yeah. Good.
two wahoo lines out on each side so we're running four doors behind the boat just in case there's wahoo or tuna hanging around the rigs we'll try and pick them up on the way so jock's basically letting uh two lures out on each side how far back you let them run uh, now that's how i feel like it <laughs> Yeah, I got you. We're headed to the forest over there. That one's the next part of it. And that one. Okay, I got you. And uh, how long have you been a guide here in Venice? About 20 years. 20 years. And how did you start being a guide? Well, I started in college. I grew up fishing with my dad, of course. But then uh, we started, I started running private boats for people that didn't know the way around Venice. Uh -huh. And then one of who I ran a private boat for decided I was, they liked me, so they bought me a charter boat to run. <laughs> That's awesome, man. So you've been a guide for the same people the whole time, or you kind of moved around a little bit? Yeah, man. Like, people come from out of town, like, they've been to Venice, and they just pay me to go with them on their boat. That's so awesome. That's cool. Well, man, we certainly appreciate it. And, uh, I'm pleasure. sure we'll try and fish again, buddy. So if you want to enter our contest, all you have to do is go to our website, dumpemupfishing.com. Go over here to the right where it says giveaways. Click on the giveaways button. It'll pull up the giveaway and it'll also give you the different options that you have to sign up for the contest. So all you have to do is click on one of these buttons and that'll give you an entry into the contest. So please don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our website, check out our giveaway pages and send us some pictures of the fish you catch using your thumpers and using the techniques that we talk about in our video.